Blessed be the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Shepherds, tell us what you saw. Announce who is born on the earth. You did not see shepherds, a warrior. You did not see legions of men. They have chariots and horses. He who is born today as the Lord. The woman has given a child to the world. They have placed him in a manger in the city of Bethlehem of Judea there was no place. The child who is born is a sign. With him a new heaven arises. With him a new earth emerges. The time of the Lord has brim. Joseph brought him into the land of Egypt, but from Egypt the son was called and he went to live in Nazareth, and he will be called the Nazarene. The Spirit of the Lord is upon him. He sent him for the poor and the blind, for the prisoners and the contrite of hearts. Today the promise is... The people who walked in darkness saw a great light. On those who dwelt in the land of darkness, a light has shined. multiply grace and cheerfulness you have increased their gladness as they rejoice in the harvest they rejoice before your faith
or the yoke that weighted down upon the people, that oppressed their shoulder, the rod in the hands of its tormentors, has now been broken. For a child is born to us, a son has been given to us, dominion and power shall be upon his shoulders, God of peace is his name. He come to establish a new kingdom in the house of David his servant to consolidate and strengthen justice in the praise of Jesus Christ, our Savior, the only Son born of the Father, the Word was made flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary. eternal hope, the light and splendor of the Father, receive and welcome the prayer of your poor children in the world. Today the heavens, earth and seas praise the one who sent you and everything that is in them rejoices in seeing you. Also we on this holy day, we celebrate your coming among us, with your blood you redeemed us, and for this we sing a new Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to the people he loves. Dal Vangelo secondo Giovanni al capo primo. From the Gospel according to John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. 
all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being? In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everybody, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, he believed in his name. He gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father, son, only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of God. The Christmas time is a time of joy for the birth of the Lord Jesus and this joy is also communicated in prayer by the singing that characterizes the prayer of this time of Christmas. We heard some passages of the prologue of the Gospel of John, when, where John writes that Jesus, the child Jesus, poor and frail, as is described to us by the Gospel, is the Word of God. The Word became God, flesh and came to live among us. It is the Word of God. It is the only born the, of, the, of the Son of the Father. The Son of God became man and came to live among us, to make us all become, the prologue says, children of the Father as he is. Yes, brothers and sisters, joy of this Christmas is knowing that Jesus makes us become children of the Father, children like him. Jesus is the word of the Father, that word that was at the beginning, that word of creation, that word of the revelation of God. And the Lord speaks to us through a child. And this is a paradox who is not able to speak as every child who is born. But in the prologue of John, we feel and we hear, uh, in a certain sense, we hear this child talk Be and uh, because he reveals us the, all his history, all, and he reveals to us the presence of God in history. The prologue of John makes us read from the very beginning of the Gospel all the great events when Jesus, in through, through which Jesus reveals himself, through which the Lord reveals the love of the Father. The prologue recalls us to the event of his existence when he says he came among his people and his own people did not accept him. He makes his passion speak. Light shines in the darkness, but the shine, the darkness had not overcome it. It shows us his resurrection when he writes, in him was life. 
This gospel that we heard recalls us, starting from Christmas, the whole path of the Lord on this earth. All the paths that he does among us to the, to, till the Christmas mystery, when it says we have seen his glory. The Chronicle John does not introduce us or present to us an event that ends, a closed event, a birth, a moment, but presents itself as a path. Because what we celebrate at Christmas is surely the birth of Jesus, but also it is the beginning of a path for the Lord Jesus, but then for each one of us who are children of God. And the call we receive on this Christmas is to live following Jesus. This is why it tra the prologue tells us this story. He calls us, the product calls us to follow Jesus on the path. We clearly went to Bethlehem like the shepherds, as the Magi will do, but there is also, there are also other steps we have to undertake, which are the ones that the product calls us to, is the way of living of the children of God, to all those who welcomed him, he gave the power of becoming children of God. Welcoming the good news of Christmas, welcoming the little child Jesus among us, we also welcome, in a certain sense, the old path of his life among men and women. And celebrating Christmas is to start this path in order to be truly children of God recognizing the Father as children, as we do every evening in prayer, when we pray with our with the Our Father, when our prayer are turned to the Father. As the Apostle tells us, that the Spirit expresses in us and makes us cry out, Abba, Father, which is the strength of our prayer. Celebrating Christmas, is therefore to recognize the Father, is to recognize ourselves as children, praying Him as the Father and asking to Him, who is the God of the impossible. Celebrating Christmas is also living love of the Father through the Son Jesus to manifest this love and this paternity beyond ourselves because this paternity and, uh, touches everyone and manifests the power, uh, love of the Father with love and with our hands as we try to do during this Christmas, leaving the love and the mercy of the Lord and the friendship of the Lord towards everyone, sharing many so sorrowful situations of marginalization and desperation and bringing in many hearts the joy of Christmas, the joy that is of being all brothers and sisters and all children of God. We will also do it in the next days, walking on the path of peace because the Lord is the Lord of Peace, and we know that we are children of the Lord of Peace. Brothers and sisters, the joy of being children of God is accompanied by, by a lot of great hope, the great hope towards the life of everyone, towards the life of each one of us, towards the life of those whom we love and, and care for, on the life of those, whom, of, the life of those who are sick for whom we pray. The joy of Christmas becomes also hope that, that no difficulty can take away from us. And as John writes in his third letter, letter, the Son of God came and gave us the intelligence to understand the true God. And we are in the true God. We are in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and the eternal life. 
and that is why that in the name of the Lord as his children we continue tonight to pray as father that he may have mercy of our life that he may heal the sick and that he may give peace to the world Do not be afraid, I'm bringing you good news, a great joy for all. <laughs> to you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior who is the Messiah. find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying from Bethlehem Ephrath of Judea will come the savior of the people He was born in Bethlehem and lived in Nazareth. He preached in Galilee and went up to Jerusalem. Benedetto il bambino che ha fatto esultare Bethlehem. Benedetto il fanciullo. Blessed the child who has made Bethlehem exult. Blessed is the child who has rejuvenate, rejuvenated humanity. Blessed is the fruit who bowed down to our hunger. Blessed is the good one who enriched our poverty and has fulfilled our indignity. Blessed is he who bowed down to care our infirmities. Blessed is he who in our language has translated his secrets. Glory to he who has explained to us, who has untied us and has been tied on our place. Glory to him who is in need because he loves us, who is thirsty because he loves us and has lost us to be with him now and forever. Lord, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not abandon us to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Signore, ci benedica, ci doni 
May the Lord bless us. May he give, us, uh, give us his peace. May he grant healing to those who are sick. Stand by, stop all people from your work. Come you, come you to Bethlehem. Born is the Lord, the King of the universe. O oh, come, let us from every place, you who are searching for peace, the Savior has born, Christ the Lord. <laughs> 